Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at typing quotation marks on your Mac. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So when typing on your Mac keyboard things work pretty much as you would expect. If you type the letter A you get a lowercase a. Shift an A and you get an uppercase A. But there's one key on your keyboard that will give you different characters at different times. So let's say I want to use quotation marks to enclose a word. I use Shift and then the Quote key which on American keyboards is just to the left of the Return key. And You can see I get quotation marks. Then I'll type a word and then I'll use exactly the same key. Shift and then quotation marks again. But notice the character I get now looks different than the first time I used that key. I get curly quotation marks or curly quotes on the left and the right that curl in different directions. But then sometimes you may actually type quotation marks and get a third character. If I type it here and then a word in here notice I get exactly the same set of double quotes on each side of the word. And they're not curly. They're straight. So there are actually two different types of quotation marks. Curly and straight. And the curly ones have a left and a right variation. And the same thing happens for single quotes. So without the Shift key if I use the same key here and then I type you can see I get straight single quotes. So these are called single quotes and the other ones technically are double quotes. But usually you would do a single quote like this and notice it's curly as well. And then you get it matching right side variation when you do it again. So when you get curly quotes like that that's usually because you have a feature on your Mac turned on called Smart Quotes. And you could find this feature in many different places. For instance there's a system wide place where you can look. If you go to System Settings and then go to Keyboard and then go to Input Sources and Edit one of the options here is to use Smart Quotes and Dashes. If you turn that on then you should get these curly quotes whenever you use the regular quotation mark key on your keyboard in most apps. But a lot of apps, particularly ones where typing is the whole point, you've got an individual setting. So here in Pages I've got a setting here and if I look under Auto Correction there's Use Smart Quotes and Dashes. But there's also a setting here under Edit. If you go to Substitutions you'll see Smart Quotes there. So what's going on here is that this is a setting you can turn on and off as you work on a document. But the setting here that's the one that determines if that setting is on or off when you start a new document. And there are other apps that use these as well. For instance here in TextEdit under Edit Substitutions you can see Smart Quotes and you can turn it on or off. And under TextEdit Settings there's also Smart Quotes right here and I could turn that on or off. And this would be what a new document starts with. Whereas the other one I could switch on or off. Strangely in TextEdit Smart Quotes is always off when you're creating new plain text documents. But if you're creating rich text documents it obeys that setting. Other Apple apps have this as well and even third party apps will have their own variation on this if typing is the main point. For instance in Microsoft Word if I go to Word Preferences and then go to Auto Correct and then look at Auto Format as you type. That's where I could find automatically as you type replace straight quotes with smart quotes. How does it know whether to use left or right when typing? Well it's pretty simple. If there's nothing to the left of the quote then it will do a left curly quote. And by nothing I mean white space. So for instance if I do this and just before I type the next word I use the double quotes it's going to curl them to the left because there's white space over here. Then if I type something and then try to use double quotes again if there's a letter to the left of it it will use the right quotes. Now sometimes a single quote is actually an apostrophe. That's a completely different thing in grammar of course but it's the same character. And since there's a letter to the left when you're using an apostrophe you get the curly right single quote which makes sense. That's the one you want to use. Now you may think well that's great but why would you ever want to use straight quotes? I mean some people might like it as a style choice. But in general straight quotes are used when you're typing computer code. 
and the Internet is filled with web pages that have computer code on them. There are tons of sites that just are for programmers. Even if you're not a programmer you may have from time to time typed a piece of HTML, CSS, or even JavaScript code. When you do so you don't want to use curly quotes. You want to use straight quotes. Now you wouldn't normally be typing in pages computer code. You would be typing in a programming environment like Xcode for instance. And that environment would know to use straight quotes. But sometimes we're writing a blog post, say, online, and it gives curly quotes where it's a piece of computer code and you want it to be straight quotes. Well, that could be an issue. So you want to watch out for that because if somebody copies and pastes your code that has curly quotes in it into their programming environment, it's not going to work. The programming environment wants straight quotes for computer code, not curly ones. Now you should also know that you could manually type curly quotes. So in Pages here I'm going to go to Edit and then Substitutions and Turn Off Smart Quotes. So now if I type something it gives me straight quotes. So you can manually type curly quotes by using the bracket keys on your keyboard. So the ones with the curly and straight brackets on them. If you just type them plain you get a left square bracket. If you use Shift you get a left curly bracket. But if you use Option then you get a curly double quote. Now you think the right bracket would give you the other side of that. But in fact it's Option Shift and the left bracket that does the curly double quote. And if you want the single quotes it's Option Right Bracket and Option Shift Right Bracket. Likewise if you want to type a straight quote while you've got Smart Quotes turned on you can hold the Control key down. So using Control and the Quote key will give you a straight single quote. And Control and Shift and the Quote key will give you the straight double quotes. Of course support for that could technically vary from app to app. So hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.